so I've got a little channel update today. Just wanted to go through some of my new pickups. I've got a whole bunch I haven't shared with you yet. So I'm going to go through them and just show you what I've picked up in the last week and a half, nearly two weeks. It's been a while since I've done a haul video. So let's check out my first pickup. These are majority from JB Hi-Fi. Yeah, I work near the place, so it's really easy to just pop in, give them all my money and come back with new presents that I don't really need. But hey, I'm a collector. I love my movies. I love my TV shows. So I'm just going to dive right in. First one, Arrow. Season 6. I love what DC's doing with their TV universe, the Arrow universe, uh, with Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, and DC Legends of Tomorrow. Great fun. Yeah, cheesy as hell, but they're very faithful to the comics, and they take the time to develop their characters and tell some really interesting stories. Yeah, as in episodic television, especially ones that run at like 22, 24, 26 episodes per season, you're going to get some duds. But... These shows, I must admit, the duds are very few and far between. I really, really enjoy what they're doing. So I'm really looking forward to diving into season six of Arrow. Although it is kind of hard to keep track when you're buying the movies on Blu-ray, all the crossover events. So if you're a little bit out of step with how they're airing, it can be a little bit tricky, especially when the movies, especially when the, the, the box sets aren't released at the same time. Um, yeah, that can be a bit daunting. I, I think season three of The Flash had a crossover event, so put all the episodes of the other TV series in that box set, so you weren't missing out. But lately, you got part one on this disc, and then part two on The Flash, and so forth, so it is really hard to keep track of it when there's a crossover, but hey, small gripe, love the series. Next. Now, this is one I kind of ummed, ummed and art about for a few seconds before picking it up. Yeah, a few seconds, and then I, and then I got it, because... Gladiator in 4K, I've heard, looks absolutely stunning. One of my favourite films, Russell Crowe and Ridley Scott teaming up to deliver an epic film. And I can imagine in 4K HDR, there's a lot of beautiful cinematography in this, so I can imagine that it would scrub up really nice. Um, clock's in at 170 minutes. I almost said 170 hours. That's completely wrong. 170 minutes, so it is a long one. Uh, I think there is a director's cut as well. Um... I know it's out there. I don't know if it's on this. I haven't got my glasses on to read it. I'm looking forward to diving into this one because I love Ridley Scott ever since Alien. And Russell Crowe is a talent to be reckoned with. He really is. He's a quality actor. Now, this is a classic. I've been reading the reviews before I picked it up and it was just a no-brainer. So as soon as I saw it, bang. Saving Private Ryan in 4K HDR. I've heard nothing but good things about this transfer. Love the movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. But um, this is a groundbreaking piece of cinema. That opening scene on the beach when the soldiers are just getting decimated. It's some really harrowing stuff. I put the movie on for my parents when it came out on DVD all those years ago. And they found it really hard going just getting through that first opening scene. They really didn't want to give the movie the rest of the, the, rest of the movie a chance. Uh, my dad just... It was just a bloodbath. And, and that's exactly what Spielberg was going for. It was a bloodbath. They didn't stand a chance on the beaches of Normandy. They just got mowed down. So, yeah, the opening scene is very, very harrowing. And then it turns into a really good search and rescue mission with Matt Damon as Ryan. So, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. It's been so long. Okay, I got a couple horror flicks that I picked up only because, well, word of mouth more than anything else. Now, this one I saw a uh, trailer to and I did a reaction way back in the channel. Um... Truth or dare, it looked fun. Um, I'm hearing mixed reports about the movie itself, but I think it looks okay. The trailer kind of got me curious. It might be silly fun, but yeah, I don't mind a, you know, horror flick with a little something different about it. As long as it's entertaining and doesn't make me just groan my head off too much, I'm in. I'm, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And this one is, this was... Kind of on my radar, but then kind of not. And then everyone who I spoke to about it has just said, I've got to watch it. I just have to because it's amazing. Boy, little Aussie horror flick. Um, we did have a, a Aussie horror flick featuring a pig, a boar, a big wild boar years ago called Razorback. Back in the 80s, like early 80s. Uh, I remember enjoying that as a kid. I've seen it. In my adult life, it was pretty cheesy. The special effects were pretty corny, but it was fun. So I, I'm told this is kind of in the same vein 
Like the boar effects, it's a big creature feature. So the pig looks good and there's some gory kills. And funnily enough, uh, Steve Bisley is in this. Now, if you just watched my uh, previous vlog, Vlog 43, out and about a night at the AFL, I actually sat next to Steve Bisley, better known to us for, as Goose from Mad Max, that original Mel Gibson classic. Um, so that was a real treat. I said good day to him, had a bit of a chat, but nothing too serious. Uh, I wish I'd got a photo with him. I didn't. I didn't want to bug the guy. I just. I just. It's just not in my nature to, you know, interrupt people when they're out, celebrities or not. So I hear he's in this as well. So that'll be really cool to catch a guy I've just met in, in this. So I'm looking forward to that. It looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Um, another TV series. I've only seen series one so far, halfway through, and. I've just got so much stuff. It's just on the back burner. I don't know why I haven't continued. I plan to. Gotham. This is the complete fourth season. So yeah, the whole premise of the of the TV series is young Batman. So we do have all these Batman foes turning up very early on in life, in Batman's life. So it's a little bit of a hard conceit to swallow. A lot of these villains kind of turned up as a counterpoint to Batman when Batman was established. So having these criminals kind of become established criminals before Batman is even Batman yet, I can't explain it. But that's because I haven't watched the show. I need to dive in and continue watching the series. Um, I love Ben McKenzie, big fan of his ever since the OC. And this young guy has got his cape ready, so Bruce Wayne. And they've got the, they've got the allusions to Batman on there. So it's a series I enjoy. Not so much... Uh, not as much as the Arrow universe. I like the fantastical nature of that. This is more of a crime thriller drama from memory, but I, I'm definitely going to dive into it. I, I will finish the series, I promise. Now, these ones I think I might have introduced in a, in a previous review of um, Avengers Infinity War. I do have the Avengers and the Avengers Age of Ultron on 4K. Uh, I hear the transfers are very nice. I just... Imagine the HDR would be just popping off the suits and the costumes of our heroes here with the blue outfit of Captain America and the reds and the yellows of Iron Man. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these look in HDR. I love the movies. This is one of my favorite hero movies ever made, followed quickly by Avengers Infinity War. That movie was just amazing. And Age of Ultron is a decent follow-up. Yeah, it has its flaws, but it was still a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these scrub up. I love how they're kind of releasing all the Marvel movies on 4K, although that's going to be kind of taking up a lot of shelf space. Like, there's a lot of movies in the series, and I have already kind of doubled up a little bit when I went through a bit of a 3D phase. So a lot of the movies I did purchase, again, to get the 3D counterpart. Um, and then I, I kind of wised up and then just started buying the 3D version of the film because you get the Blu-ray and the 3D in the pack. But now that they're re-releasing them all on 4K... <sighs> Damn. But that would just look so good. I mean, freaking hell. They're gorgeous. Okay. Now, this is one I missed at the theater. No one could believe it when they found out I hadn't seen it yet. I'm questioned at work pretty much daily if I've seen it yet, if I've seen it yet, have I seen it yet, and my answer is always no. So today I'm going to rectify that. Yes, Deadpool 2, finally. I love the originals, a lot of fun. I don't even think I've done a review for that one yet. I, I, I can clearly remember talking about it and doing some video work with the first film, but there's no sign of the, the video recording anywhere. So I'm going to have to do another one. Um, I was considering doing a back-to-back -back Deadpool, Deadpool 2, but I'm kind of running a little bit short of time today. So I'm going to just dive right into this one because I can't wait any longer. I want to check it out. It looks like fun. We've got Cable. It's just, I just hear good things. And of course, he's going to look sex as hell on 4k because he's deadpool he's ryan he's ryan reynolds he's a sexy man so i'm looking forward to that too um so that's all my pickups as of late um i'm consistent <laughs> i'm consistently growing my dvd collection back in the day i used to buy vhs tapes I used to do a lot of recording off tv onto vhs and then i started the with the introduction of dvd i just started buying dvd right away and um, before that laserdisc about 50 of those i think no longer have the player, or well, do, but I don't think it works anymore. And then I moved on to DVDs, and I've been buying DVDs ever since, and then it became Blu-ray, and I fell in love with that format because the high definition just looked great. And now, of course, we have 4K, which is just 
phenomenal. It really does make the movie viewing experience really something magical. The sound, the image quality, the HDR is just spectacular. And I really do love the cases, how they've got that black and then you've got the silver embossing of the 4K Ultra HD title up the top. I just love the look of the films. And so I'm a massive fan. And the 4K TV I have can play 3D movies as well. Uh, it's like a dying format. So the TV got my 4K. Somebody was asking. My LG 4K 3D TV was pretty much the last of its kind. And um, yeah, the movies really do scrub up quite nicely on the 4K on that on that beauty. It's sexy as hell. It's about 65 inches. So big screen. Big screen fun. Um, the eye is healing nicely. As you know, I had an operation on my eye. I had a, a gland, an infected gland, and that has been removed. I do have a bit of a lump. There's still like a lump there when I press down on it, so I won't do that too often. But it's cleared up. It was a bit of a horrible mess. You might have noticed it in my previous videos. But um, hey, I went under the knife, got rid of it, and I'm feeling much better, so I can see. We are going to Hawaii for a trip in about... 12 days it's coming around awful quick we better get organized um so i wanted the eye to be right for that so more news as it comes i'll drop more updates as the channel grows um just clocked over 850 subscribers which is amazing uh, i can't believe how quickly the channel is growing i'm really appreciative to all you who subscribe and check out my my channels and my content like I said, it's just something I do for fun. But please don't forget to throw a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you don't, hey, of course don't. If you like the if you like the videos, leave that thumbs up because it really kind of helps the YouTube algorithm, helps the, the videos get out there and get noticed by other people and thus, you know, perpetually grows the channel, which is cool. So, hey, if you want to like them, please like them. But then again, like I said, if you don't, just don't. Don't know why, though. I put a lot of work into these things. Anyhow, thank you once again for checking into my channel. For all my subscribers, thank you. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that big subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. just have a little bit of an update to share with you today got some new pickups i want to share with you now nah, start again eh microphone right in my face testing one two three take those off love you and there continue you watching um, continue watching continue watching continue watching <laughs>